So how's everybody doing? Feeling better? Waking up and uh, thinking things going to be all right, aren't they? And they are. But there's some of you out there that are in the disability world that, uh, you know, reservation money and what have you. Yeah, that's going to be changing for you. Now, here's the thing. If you're over 50, we got lots to work on before you guys. Okay, so don't worry about you guys. All right. But if you're under 50, yeah, it's time to get real. All right. With yourself. You know, there are some disabilities that, dude, that, I mean, short of calling bingo numbers, this dude, that's all he's going to be able to do. Um, yeah, we'll find something to let you be a contributing part. You know, and those over 50, yeah, there's a lot of volunteers needed. we got a lot of things we got to do. And, uh, you know, I want you guys to also remember the godparents. That's any single one of you that's in charge of somebody else's kids. Okay? That's, that's a godparent. All right? If you're watching over another person's kids, dude, you're large and in charge. Don't forget it. Okay? It's really important you understand what a godparent really is. Because you may be a godparent for only 15 minutes, but that's an important 15 minutes. Okay? And, uh, you know, there's a bunch of other stuff we're going to be covering and talking about you know we're talking about that damn thing with the witches i mean here's their side okay here's what didn't get really in the history books about that see what it boiled down to was they were figuring out how to heal people with medicine yeah and people would go to her or them to get healed rather than the church they didn't like that they didn't like that at all they did not like that at all. Yeah, yeah. So the church's choice was to, oh yeah, they're witches. They are witches. That's the only Satan can heal. If you're getting healed, it's Satan doing it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that, that particular chapter of history of mankind is really, wow. Yeah. So, we got all of it on record. We know exactly what happened. And we got their side, which none of the history books really cover. Yeah, because it really was just about healing people. And the church didn't like it. Matter of fact, the church has done wrong in many, 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 many a time in history. Because some idiot thought that's what God wanted. And I'm here to straighten that out, okay? I am here to 100% get you guys on the path of taking care of yourselves and being good to each other. And understanding what the hell you're really in. That's what it is. You, you guys have just got to understand what is really going on around you. And, uh, you know, stop staring at the sky and wishing for a million dollars, dude. It ain't going to happen. That ain't how it works. You're doing time. And do your time with honor. And just do the best you can. Here's the thing, too. We're not expecting angels out of you guys today, all right? Yeah, there's a couple of you. It might be next week. It might even be uh, next Christmas. Yeah, we, we don't know. You got a lot of bad programming you got to get out of there. And, and it sucks when that's all you got to work off of is that programming. Yeah, I've done nothing but kill and shoot movies and, uh, and uh, effing nigger rapping music and yeah that kind of stuff it, it was just that's all I know yeah it, it's gonna take a moment to get you guys pre-programmed alright you know hate was an easy thing and uh, love on the other hand takes effort so you're gonna have to put the effort into it but like I said, about this getting back to work and everything, I mean, yeah, we're going to have to find jobs for everybody. Okay, that's the thing. All right. You know, and sometimes you're on a sporty, like these guys here. You know, they, they did do a lot of work. And, you know, short of getting a pack of cigarettes here or a little help with rent there or what have you, you know, they're nothing. So, you know... 
new set of clothes or whatever, you know, came through, they'd grab it. They did work. And they took care of this community. And, uh, though some of their choices were not the best, they were great people. And they had a great cause. And they had a great leader. Can't wait to sit and talk with you this afternoon. I know we've been staying away from each other on purpose. That's why his father's been wanting it because it's, uh, you know, we, we'd just be too powerful together, girl. So it's, uh, I know, it's all good. But, uh, yeah, everyone, remember, the second coming is not about digging the shit up. It's about straightening all of us out. What are you thinking now? What are you going to do with your life? How are you going to change? Because I want every one of you up there. But I can't make you. None of us can make you. And we're even going to give you a program if you don't want to choose it. To where you still can survive. But you don't have to steal. You don't have to uh, hurt people to get what you need. We're going to find something for you. <clears throat> but you're going to have to go with what they tell you. And the system and the programs, yeah, we, we, we haven't built them yet. Okay, yeah, it's not, that's a road that's not even open right now. <clears throat> we're still doing the drive around. Yeah, we got to drive around this whole government thing that we're going to take up and build up. Like I said, this is a seven year project. We're only in year two or two. You know, remember that, people. This is only year number two. All right. We got a lot of changes that are going to have to happen. But the main thing is getting these people, their Borg, a place to take and go. So they're not wandering in the streets. You know, that's the reason we have homeless people. It's because most of them people are Borg, or they have a mental condition that they don't realize that they have. And they live like that because of that. So look at your neighborhood. Look at your backyard. Look at your town. Where are they at? What can you do to get them at least temporary housing and get this thing rolling to where they're taken care of for at least this Christmas? And then give them the 411 of what's going on, if they can understand it. I mean, that dude over next door, he ain't going to understand it for quite a while. Yeah. If ever. Yeah. But explaining to them that God loves them and wants them. And all they got to do is to do a little bit of work each day and then have some fun in the evening, you know. It, it, see, that's the thing. They're all different. You're going to have to find out what works for them. You know, some of them may want to do puzzles. Some may want to watch, just stare at the TV, you know, whatever. Some will have to be alone. Some will have to be in groups, you know. Y'all you, you know what the hell to do. We just never put any effort into them because they weren't worth anything. Yeah. But they're all worth something. It's high time we started doing that. You know, you want to make your points, take care of the ones that can't take care of themselves. That's where we're starting. Okay? And then we're going up from there. And we're going to help everyone we can. Like I said, this disability racket thing has been a, a racket for a long time. It's one of the main reasons America has to, a lot of issues, especially in the big cities. These people need to burn up that energy every day instead of finding out ways to make more money to scam and steal. Like I said, crime, remember, crime is not a penance. Crime is a crust of hell, all right? Everyone in the world needs to know that one. Yeah, so moving forward, going on and taking care of this world that's you guys job I'm just here to give you the 411 so that everyone understands and to meet a really special gal that I can't wait to meet that uh, I don't even care if I'm toothless now I really don't it's just the way it is we'll get that fixed later yeah 
I've lived a life of maintenance. I know what it means to leave something broken and you know you're going to get back to it. It's one of them things. But right now, bigger fish to fry. So, anyway, and I did more rambling. Hope everybody has a good morning. See, I told you, morning after morning, it's going to get better and better and better. But you see how much better tomorrow morning is. But you see how awesome Christmas is. But you see that Thanksgiving. We're going to have a good time then. Have a good one.